Welcome back to another walk around and test drive at Coyote Classics. Today we're checking out this super original 1973 Mach 1 Mustang. Now if you watch our channel, you know that original survivor type cars are my favorite. And today we have just that to show you on our, on our channel. Uh, just going up for sale on our website, 1973 Mustang Mach 1. 78,000 original miles. And this is just a super clean, almost 100% original car. Let's look under the hood once. Under the hood, you have numbers matching, 351. Um, the car also comes with a ton of original documentation, original bill of sale, uh, warranty card, um, anything, anything you could want, it, it, it comes with it as far as uh, paperwork. Uh, factory air car, original colors, and previous owner had told me that this is largely original paint um, on the car as well. <laughs> Looks like we got a little visitor. Little friend with us little on the friend. video today. Here, you wanna take this? Yeah. Here, you can keep that open real quick. Cool. Um, so copper metallic with copper interior. The interior is, is astonishing, and so is under the hood. I mean, just really clean um, and pristine. The, the previous owner, um, I'd put like $2,500 into it just prior to summer, going through everything, getting everything just ready to go. Brake work, um, air conditioning work, just the whole nine yards. But really good, reliable car. And that's usually what you get with something like this that's just untouched, pure, um, classic muscle. Power steering, power brakes, as I mentioned, factory air. All the right hoses. Mm -hmm. and just beautiful under there too. It is. Clean. It's really cool. Front bumper is in excellent shape. That that urethane bumper still looks really nice. Front chin spoiler, hood lines up great. And as I mentioned, a lot of this it's so hard to say on original paint, but the previous owner had had told me it was um, largely original. There's some parts that have been have been touched up. But again, always a hard thing to verify. But when you look at the interior of the car and the condition. Um, very, very plausible. This has, has the original wheels too, kind of that dog dish. Chad and I kind of thought about changing them, but this car you just can't. You know, it's just so, so pure that it would have been a crime almost to get rid of those original wheels, but we'll let the next owner decide what he wants to do with that. And I think they look super good on them too. I mean, I they're like super clean. You don't often, often see that. You know, those, no. those style rims on this, on these cars. Couple very small little rock chips down on the bottom. Couple chips that have been touched up here on the door. But this is a an unrestored, unrestored car. I mean, mechanically, obviously they went through it, but as far as the interior body, I mean, just always been a good, solid, original car. And that word's gonna get probably overused today, but I don't know how else to describe this Mach 1. Um, and I was the one that actually pulled the trigger and, and purchased this one. And what sold me on it immediately was as soon as I opened the doors, original paint in the jams, corner of the door is perfect, and the original interior um, is about as nice as you're gonna find. It was kind of neat, the car, when I bought it, um, was previously owned at one point in time uh, by somebody who worked at the Department of Defense and it had the uh, little tag on the front bumper, which it looks like Andy had taken off when he detailed it, but kind of neat. So seemed to be adult driven, well taken care of. And these seats are excellent. Almost nowhere in that original vinyl. Back seats are like new, headliners perfect. Seat backs are in great shape. Dash, original radio, works. Even your seat belt buzzer and your ignition buzzer work on this one. Top of the dash is excellent. It's got the center console. Really the only wear that I'm seeing on the interior is just a little bit there like by where you put your key in the ignition, which would be crazy if it didn't have that, but carpet seats, headliner dash, 
door panels, all that is about as nice as you can find. And make sure you check out the undercarriage pictures on our website, carrydclassics.com. Show you just how solid this Mustang is underneath. Back bumper looks excellent. It's got the little bumperettes. Tail lights look great. And here's the trunk. Extremely solid, looks like probably original spackle. But when you look up in there, it's the part everyone likes to see because a lot of times if there's rust there, it never really gets fixed. And this one's just 100% solid. Tells you what to expect on the undercarriage as well. Um, looks like um, air shocks were added. And there's your little chuck for your air shocks there in the trunk. Got the front and rear spoilers. And there's, like I said, the paint's real old or possibly original. So there's gonna be some, a couple of pieces of solvent pop here. But roof looks good. A couple of small chips that have been touched up there. Tires have good tread on them. And these cars are, are my favorite because you, you can't really replicate the way that these drive. Something that's that's this original and, and clean. When you drive them, you feel like you're going back to 1973 and, and driving a new one. And it seems to me that like even, even ones that guys have spent tons of money restoring, they just, you can't replicate that, that feel when, when you drive something with low miles. A couple very small rock chips behind the rear tire. Little chip that's been touched up in the roof. Couple more small chips there. Your quarters are really solid. And in the right light, you can see some, some solvent pop in the paint right here. But you gotta be kind of looking at it at the the right light, very hard to see outside here, but just trying to point point everything out that we can. Corner of the door fits excellent. Original door handles are in great shape, but if you look really close, you can see there's just some minor pitting on that pop metal there. Rockers are very solid. Front fender looks good. And there is a small ding like right here, so you can just see at the right angle. But gaps are very nice. Hood fits great to the fender and to the door. Get a couple small chips that have been touched up. But what a car! It's so hard to even even you've gone by a new truck. It's hard to have it look like this in six months. Mm -hmm. You know, let alone a 1973 Mustang to hold up and and still look this good all through the years. Yep, exactly. Door buzzer works. And again, I mean, you're not gonna get a nicer interior factory sticker. And go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Check out the undercarriage, but also check out photos of all this original paperwork. Really neat to see. You have a small crack in that original armrest base, but door panel's excellent. Remote mirror. Pull that key, because that's kind of annoying. This original interior is in, in excellent shape. You can tell there's just a little bit of fade here from kind of getting in and out, but the upholstery is really nice. No seam split, but you have a couple small little cracks in that vinyl, but not split through. It's really excellent um, original interior. I've seen a lot of nice original cars, but as far as uh, the quality of an original interior, I haven't seen many more as nice as this. No, the paint and on the dash is just beautiful and nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, gauges are cl crystal clear. Factory steering wheel looks awesome. I don't see any cracks in it, but you can tell there's just some fade from having your hand on it over the years. And it's got the origin original exhaust too. Starts that easy. So that exhaust, it's not gonna scare anybody away. It's just stock, nice little quiet exhaust, but 
original AM radio works, which is excellent. Pretty rare there. Wipers work, and they park. Gas gauge works, speedometer works, and then you have lights, um, you know, for temp, oil pressure, and brakes, alternator, and those all light up and work too. Turn our AC on, even though we don't really need it today. It's awfully cold, but we'll check and make sure that works. Even the ashtray, take a look at that, Ryan. I mean, still super clean. Yeah. There's your seatbelt buzzer. You might have to pull your... It's not often we have to put our seatbelts on, but it's gonna make us do that today. Here, you'll yeah. be on your... Here, I'll get mine. Other side, and that way, we don't have to listen to that annoying buzzer, but... There we go. Still kinda neat that no one's ever unhooked that. car here. I know the boys in the shop did some work on the air. Horn works too on the steering wheel. Just a cool card. I even like the colors on it. You know, you see so many red ones, it seems, mm -hmm. but just to find one with original colors and, and never been changed is kind of kind of a rarity anymore, too. Power steering works good. Brakes are excellent. Picks up speed. Uh, factory or, yeah, speedometer works. It's at 70 miles an hour. One finger on the wheel, suspension's excellent. Front end's nice and tight. And that's what I mean with an original car like this, you just really can't beat it. It just drives like a new one, I love it. It's just one of those cars you can just get in and go. It's yeah, it is. Super nice. It is, you can drive it anywhere. And even small things like the windows um, on both sides go up and down really easy. It's just kind of what you get with something like this. It's tuned well check our brakes here at a higher speed. Stop awesome. Just a really good car. Whoever gets this one's, I know is gonna call us and be extremely happy with it. Um, just kind of a one of a kind, one of a kind car. Even this is just neat. Yeah. But I love it and I know you will too. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. We'll go through the gears once here with this old 351. Nice shift. Second. Shift up to third, about 55. Nice shift to third. Awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next test drive.